Hello everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I'm going to be talking about how you can download and install custom Minecraft maps in Minecraft 1.15. We're going to be going over every single step of getting custom maps in Minecraft 1.15. And I know on the screen here it says 1.14, but that's because you're watching the 1.15 video now. And I can't put this video here until... I've recorded it and uploaded it. So by the time you get to this page, it'll say 1.15 here. But nevertheless, we're going to be going over every single step of getting a custom map. I'm even going to show you 15 great custom maps for Minecraft 1.15. Spe and specifically, how you can update a 1.14 custom map to work with Minecraft 1.15, even though it's not technically natively compatible with that version, right? So we're gonna be going over all of that in this video. First and foremost, though, we do have a message from our sponsor, which is Apex Minecraft Hosting. Go to the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex. Get an incredible 24-hour DDoS protected Minecraft server for you and your friends. We actually love Apex so much that we host our own server, play.breakdowncraft.com on them. So again, if you are looking for a great Minecraft server that you can actually install these custom maps on, on any custom map you're seeing here, you can add to a Minecraft server on Apex Minecraft Hosting and play it with your friends. You can check out Apex at the first link down below, the breakdown.xyz slash Apex. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and jump right on into this. The first thing you're going to want to do is download a custom map. Now, if you do already have a custom map downloaded, you can skip forward in the tutorial a little bit, but I do want to make sure that if you don't have a custom Minecraft map downloaded or a Minecraft map in general that you want to install in single player, what do you do? How do you find them? And things like that. Well, go to the second link down below and that's going to take you here. This is 15 custom maps for Minecraft 1.15. Now, one thing I will note that it's, this tutorial was updated literally or posted literally the day 1.15 came out. And there's actually quite a, like not many 1.15 custom maps now. So we're going to have to wait some time, but this is an art article that I update and revisit every single week adding new maps in. But for now, we're actually going to download a 1.15. 14 map and I'm going to show you what that looks like and how you can get that like basically up and running and all of that stuff So we're going to download we'll let's do two so we'll do survival island extreme here So you can click the green download button here and this map might actually not be for 1.14 It might be for an even older version. Yes, yeah, so this is for 1.11 dot two what happens when you update such an old map well let's go ahead and do it and i'll show you i wouldn't recommend doing that by the way running such an old map but where this isn't a survival island map and there's not that many custom things you're just going to have some structures and cool things around you not necessarily custom command blocks and things like that you're okay with updating it however i wouldn't recommend updating a map from like below 1.13 to 1.15 we're also going to go ahead and do the freaky parkour map here. So if we click on download, we will see that this is actually a 1.14 map. Again, there are not any 1.15 maps out yet. I looked and I looked and I looked. I mean, literally looked for 40 minutes before I recorded this video trying to find at least one map to show you on 1.15, but I could not find one. So nevertheless, as you can see, we've got two maps here. However, over time, all of these maps will be upgraded to Minecraft 1.15. Most of them can be converted. The only ones that might not be able to are the ones that have a bit more custom things in them. For example, Slayer here and Sorcerer Books 2 are both going to be more custom maps that have more events triggering and things like that and need to be played in their native versions. But nevertheless, let's go ahead and download Freaky Parkour. To do that, just come here, click on the Download Minecraft Map button, and it will download in the bottom left. You probably won't need to keep or save the file, but if you do, it's 100% safe to do so, as long as it's not redirected you off of this. Now, Survival Island Extreme, let's go ahead and click on Download Minecraft Map here, and it will also download in the bottom left. You may need to save the file on Mozilla Firefox as well. But nevertheless, let's go ahead and minimize our browser here. And on our desktop, we do have Freaky Parkour and we have Survival Island. Now we want to get both of these installed, but what if they aren't on your desktop? No worries, go ahead and click the little Windows icon. For me, it's in the top left. For you, it's going to be in the bottom left of your screen. That little Windows icon in the bottom left of your screen, or it could be in the top left, but nevertheless, we're clicking on the Windows icon in the top and bottom left of your screen. Then once you click on that, you want to go ahead and type in Downloads, right like so. Then you'll have this Downloads File folder in Windows. Click on that, and in here you'll find Freaky Parkour and Survival Island. Drag them to your desktop just for ease of use. Now, once these are on your desktop, it's time to open up your Minecraft map world. How do you do that? Again, we're revisiting that little Windows icon in the top or bottom left of your screen. This time, though, we're going to type in Run R-U-N to open up the Run desktop app here. 
Then we're going to open up that Run Desktop app, and in here we want to type in percent sign app data percent sign percent app data percent exactly like that. If it's like even got a space after it, it will not work. So you want to make sure it's percent app data percent exactly like that, and then click OK. Then it will open up our roaming folder here, and in here you should have a dot Minecraft folder. Then in your dot Minecraft folder, when you open that up, you should have a saves folder right here go ahead and double click on that and in here you will see all of the minecraft maps that you have ever created like ever and um you can go ahead and see all these here if you ever want to like mass clear your minecraft maps like i just did there you can do that pretty easily but nevertheless all of this is here ready for you to basically enjoy check out all of that stuff now as you can see here the maps that we want to add aren't in here and the reason for that is because they're on our desktop and if you just take and drag and drop this into your desktop right or in here it won't work right you need to actually do some stuff in order to make this work so what do we do well it's pretty simple what you want to do is come back to your desktop here double click on like freaky parkour for example that will open up this and then in here it should have freaky parkour double click on that and then whenever you see data data packs dim one dim dash one things like that you can take and drag and drop it to your desktop right then that's going to drag and drop that to your desktop and now on your desktop you should have a folder called like freaky parkour or whatever your map name is double click on that map name and in here you should immediately see advancements dim one dim dash one you should specifically see dim dash one and dim one if you see that you're good to go if you don't see that as ooh, as soon as you open the file continue clicking through the folders until you do see that as soon as you open the file now we need to do the same thing for survival island extreme so double click on that double click on survival island and then we see dim one dim dash one we want to click the little back arrow here and then drag and drop survival and island extreme to our desktop now it's time to install these maps. We can delete the zip files that we downloaded. Now again, to double check, both of these maps should immediately see Dim-1 as soon as we open them. And we do, Dim-1 on Survival Island Extreme and Dim-1 on Freaky Parkour. Now we wanna come back to our saves file, which again, we got to by clicking the little Windows icon in the top left, typing in run in the run application, typing in percent sign app data percent sign, clicking okay. And then we have the dot Minecraft folder here. And then in here, we have our saves folder. Now to install these maps, all we need to do is drag and drop them into our saves folder. Again, check one more time that as soon as you open up Freaky Parkour, you see Dim-1. And then again, make sure that as soon as you double click on Survival Island, you see Dim-1. If you could do, you are good to go. We can go ahead and open up Minecraft 1.15 and these maps will be there and ready to go. As you can see, we have latest release 1.15. Click play. Now, I've had this weird issue with Minecraft 1.15 that on first launch, it just simply does not work, right? It just simply like launches and then crashes on me and then I have to reload it. I don't know why that is. It's something I've noticed. I've heard a few other people from our server have also had that issue, but it seems like it might launch right on up this time. It is good. I was just telling you about that because if it crashes or something, it's not anything to do with the maps. It just happens. But nevertheless, here we are. If we click on single player, we can scroll down and we'll see there's Freaky Parkour and there's Survival Island Extreme. So we're going to start off with Survival Island Extreme because that's going to be a bigger change. We're updating it from 11.2. 1.11.2. So go ahead and just double click on your map. Now, as you can see, this world was last played in 1.11.2. You are on version 1.15. Please make sure you back up. Now, you do not need to back up here because if you break something, something doesn't work, you just re download the map, right? So let's go ahead and click on I know what I'm doing and just let it launch right on up. Now, this is going to take a while because it's converting all of this old world into the newest version of Minecraft. So let's go ahead, let it sit here. It's gonna sit at 0% for a while. It's gonna take it a while. So I'm just gonna let this kind of do its thing and do a jump cut until it's, well, finished. So yeah, we'll just let that do its thing. I'll see you after a quick jump cut. So as I said, you probably don't wanna do this with maps before 1.13.2. And see, we do have an error here kind of showing us that this is not, it's not, it's not working, it's not working. So we can go ahead and close out uh, Minecraft. We have crashed it, congratulations. But um, that is something, doing older maps like this one from 1.11.2 all the way up to 1.15 is quite a conversion. If you were to do this and wanna bring this map up to 1.15, I'll actually do it later in the tutorial, but I wanna show you how to launch Freaky Parkour. As you can see though, the maps are installed, they are in Minecraft. It works the same way for 1.15 native maps. There are just no 1.15 native maps right now. So let's go ahead and double click on Freaky Parkour. This one is going to work. I know what I'm doing. It's gonna open it up. As you can see, it's at 0%, but it immediately starts converting it. 3%, there you go. And it's going to convert it a lot faster because this is a 
1.14 map going to 1.15. So there we go. Welcome to Freaky Parkour. Um, rules, yada, yada, yada. Um, click this sign to start, and then you can teleport. And it works perfectly fine because, again, this is a 1.14 map that we have just converted to 1.15 instead of a 1.11.2 map converting it all the way up to 1.15. So there we go. Wow, I'm actually doing pretty good on it. Okay, anyway, there we have it. So that is um, that is how you can, oh, wow, we actually made it to a checkpoint. I've never made it this far in this parkour map. You, you all don't wanna see this though. So anyway, yeah, that is that. Is that. that is how you can uh, basically set up this Minecraft maps. Now, let's go ahead and jump back to the title screen here. And I'm gonna go through the process of doing this. I'm gonna do a lot of quick little jump cuts here. Basically, you're gonna see my Minecraft version change from 1.15 to 1.15. 12, and we're going to update Survival Island, and then update it to 1.13, 1.14, 1.15. It's a lot more of an involved process, but it's how you can update an old custom map or an old Minecraft map if it wouldn't work before. So let's go ahead and see if we can do this. It still might not work, but I expect it to. I'm just going to show you real quick. If you open up Minecraft here, you can click on Installations, and then actually create new installations. So we're going to do a version update, and then you can change this to whatever version you want. All of the Minecraft versions over time are here, even back to like alpha Minecraft versions. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead though, start off with version 1.12, and then we're gonna do 1.13 and so on and so forth, and update this over time. So I'm gonna just gonna jump cut as me updating these worlds, and then we'll be good. So I'll jump cut until we're on the Minecraft main menu here, and then we'll jump cut until we've like updated the map or in game, then do it again, then do it again, and we'll be done. Does this bring back memories for anybody? Let's go ahead and click on single player, scroll down, and then we can click on Survival Island Extreme. As you can see, it launches right on up. We don't have this new, or the, the new like building world thing. Boom, we're in game. Now immediately, wow, this is quite, quite the map, but we're immediately going to close out of this, and I'm gonna launch it up in 1.13.2. So do a quick jump cut there until we're launched on the 1.13.2 main menu. Here we are on the 1.13.2 main menu. They really updated how the main menus looked. Start with 1.13, props to Mojang for that. Let me just go ahead, double click on Survival on Extreme. We know what we're doing. We're jumping straight on into it here and it will load right on up because we're doing incremental version updates. We're not trying to go from 1.11 to 1.14. And the reason, by the way, I went to 1.13.2 here instead of 1.13 is because there were conversion issues from 1.12.2 to 1.13, but none from 1.12 to 1.13.2. So that's a little tip if you're updating an old map to kind of make sure and make sure you're aware of some of those things. But here we are now in 1.13, as you can see, 1.13.2 there. Close out of Minecraft one last time. We're gonna update it to 1.14 and then 1.15. So here we are, Minecraft 1.14.4 main menu, single player, Shvala on extreme, double click on it. I know what I'm doing, launch right on into it. And it will go ahead and update it and do everything that it needs to do. As you can see, there you go. We're doing, we're getting that green box of updating awesomeness here that we kind of came to expect. And we're wanting in 1.15, but we didn't get because it was such an old version. Now we're incrementally updating this map to the newest version. Now, if there are any command blocks or anything like that in this map, they are most definitely breaking, right? There is no if, ands, or buts about that. They are most definitely going to break updating this old of a map. That's why I only recommend doing this with 1.14, but, or sorry, yeah, 1.14.4 maps to 1.15. But finally, we can go ahead and open up Minecraft 1.15, a latest version. 1.15 and we'll be able to update this map. So pretty quick, pretty easy. And this basically process that you wanna go through is just incrementally update this over time until finally it's finished, right? It's going to take some time, it's going to, it's, it's a process, but if you wanna update a really old map to the newest version, you can do it using this process. I actually thought about bringing back an old Let's Play of mine that um, was in alpha. And this is the update process I would use to do that. It's actually so old, by the way, it doesn't even show up here, even though it is technically on my computer. But nevertheless, we can go ahead and update this. I know what I'm doing. And now, remember, it froze on this screen before. It will not freeze on this screen now because we've updated it to 1.14. It might take it a minute. It might lag some and everything like that. But eventually, it will go ahead, start moving, and upgrade this world to Minecraft 1.15 without any issues whatsoever. There we go. As you can see, it is now upgraded to 100%. And boom, we are in Minecraft 1.15 on this world it's gonna lag a little bit here as it's like whoa some of these chunks haven't been loaded in a while but there we go this is a beautiful map by the way 
props to whoever created this one. But um, yeah, unfortunately, this map won't be going on our list uh, for the long term because it is such a process to update it to 1.15. However, some of the maps on our list are 1.14 maps, and those are, as you can see, very, very easy, as you saw earlier in this tutorial. But if you ever want to update a really old Minecraft map, that is one of the pro tips to do it. It takes some trial and error, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, trying over and over again until you finally get there. But eventually you will, and you'll be in an awesome map like this one playing and having fun in the newest version of Minecraft. So yeah, if y'all have any questions, let us know in the comment section down below. Otherwise, enjoy your custom Minecraft maps. My name is Nick, this has been The Breakdown. Thank you all so, so much for watching, and I'm out. Peace.